Hey, how's it going guys? JC here, and today we have a match against Wukong with Thunderlords and Teleport. OP.GG, Runes and Masteries will be on the screen. Uh, I'm going to ward this very soon because uh, the chat asked me to, so I am with Ninetales right now. He's playing Yorick Jungle. So I'll ward it at around 35, and then we'll head to lane. So the reason why I'm going for this build, guys, is because I feel like I can win early game. So if I don't feel like I can win early on, I'll probably go for the TP, and I'll go for Tima and scale into late game. Otherwise, if I think I can win early, I'll go for this build. So we'll see what we can do. Well, he already used his Q on me, so that means he's going to take some minion damage. But it's actually very smart because he pulled the minions back towards him, or back towards his side. So let's get full fury and then we can fight him. Oh, we're practically there. Oh, damn, he didn't stay in that bush. That's annoying. He's quite cheeky, actually, with his really long range Q. So I'll wait for this minion to get low and then I'll go smack him. Just like that. There we go. Good chunk. Because we do beat him level 1, it's just that he's staying really far back and maybe I didn't capitalize on it. And also it's because of the AD. Because I have AD runes, that's why it helps. AD is really good early game but does not scale into late game while attack speed scales really well into late game. So 3 minute mark. Hey, job. I mean... Ivan could actually cheese me, so I have to be really careful. I actually do not have a ward for Ivan, so I have to play really far back right now. So, I don't know where Ivan is. I'm just gonna auto and then E away. Didn't do as much damage as I hoped, but that's alright. I put a point in W because I see Yorick nearby, and he, could, he might want to gank, so I'm gonna pop a potion here. Oh, he's pretty dead. Yeah, ghoul's gonna get him. Oh no, the ghouls are gonna push. Rip. <laughs> oh well, we have to push this out. The thing is, he has teleport. I wanted this to slow push back to me. So that way it'll freeze, and then it'll force him to teleport, and then I'll still come back to lane with something. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, uh, lane froze at bad. Lane froze at a bad spot. And Ivan's here as well. <clears throat> uh, actually, it's fine. Uh, Do you know Wukong actually screwed up so hard there? He could have froze this on me and he would have been so far ahead. But the thing is, he was a monkey and then he actually pushed this into me. So, I, all good then. That's the thing is, you want to freeze it if it's slow pushing. Always freeze it if it's slow pushing back to you. Like, never do what Wukong's doing and mindlessly push. Because that's what will get you to throw away a huge advantage that we would have had. So, always freeze if it's pushing towards you. Like, just trim it out and let it slow push into you. Enemy's going to miss so much. And it's going to be frozen at their side. Instead, it's now at my side because he just brainlessly pushed. Okay, very nice. I got some really nice chunk there. Okay, I need to sustain up here. I, it's actually kind of dangerous for me right now. So I'm going to pop a potion, hang back for his Q, and then, yeah, I'll just wait it out. Because I have my Vamp Scepter, I'm going to heal really fast. Once I get higher health, and he, he used all his Corrupting Potions, so this was his biggest trade there. After that, he has nothing. So I just need to heal up and just avoid his Q right now, and then after that, I can kill him. I can all-in him very soon. Okay. Ah, uh, wait. Oh, I thought that was a fake. <laughs> he actually juked me out there. <clears throat> He's going out of mana as well. So if I could keep these short trades going, I'd trade with him again when my E is up. Uh, he'll be out of mana and he can't use his ultimate. Actually, he might be dead here. He doesn't have enough mana for ult. Ah, very nice. That makes me have to blow a flash. You are <clears throat> but that's about it. Wow, that was so loud. I hope it didn't bleed into mic. I'm sorry, guys. My speakers play the Arnold quote whenever I kill or die. 
So that's why you might hear that a lot, uh, like these random Arnold quotes. I didn't edit them in, they're just there. <coughs> so this is a perfect time to freeze, just like this, guys. So what I'm doing right now, I'm not like Wukong where I mindlessly push. I'm going to just keep it at 4 minions here. And then now I can go back home. And this should be a pretty nice freeze, I hope. Maybe I should have trimmed it out a bit more. Uh, this is actually uh, not that great of a freeze. <laughs> Hopefully I get to lane fast enough. Three minions. Oh, the tower's going to start hitting. Nope. Wait. Wait. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. It's not the best freeze, but it made Wukong miss a whole wave. I think I should have trimmed it out a bit more, so I, I overestimated with the four minions. Uh, whoops. Damn. I should have pinged uh, that Wukong was missing, but to be honest, I thought it was coming to lane. Seeing like uh, the wave was in this situation, he would come to lane. But I guess because I, um, I messed up with the freeze, so that's why it crashed into tower. And then he was able to roam. So that was my bad. I should have trimmed it out a bit more. Huh? What, what, is, what the heck is Ivan saying? I'm not going to gank. What? That's kind of confusing. Not sure. Okay, so Wukong no ult. With no ult. If our jungler wants to come and dive, that will be pretty awesome. But if not, I understand. Damn. Well, at least we got him to use a lot of mana. I have to be careful. Um, let's see. He could be diveable here. Crush your enemies. Very nice. See them driven before you? They hear a lamentation of the women. Yeah, so I know he has no ult, so that's why I dove him really confidently. Uh, he's gonna lose his... Yorick's gonna lose his ult by doing this, though. But I guess we get a tower pretty early, so that's nice. So yeah, I go for this build if I want to be aggressive early and just win lane. And if you, if you want to scale into late game, then go for a Pete's build. But this build is definitely superior early game, by far. Oh yeah, uh, he can get his ghouls back, or his maiden back. Okay, very nice. That's a huge wave crashing into the tower. But there's no rift tower just yet, so I'm not going to go for it. Well, there's nothing to go for, that is. But I do get my static. Do I want... Wait, enemies dominating? What the heck? I actually don't have enough gold for boots. That's really bad. I wish I had more gold for boots because... Uh, I don't know, I greeted for static. I guess 360 movement speed's alright. Oh, get that. I can solo. So, rift soon. But yeah, for those who are wondering, this is... Oh, okay. <clears throat> For those who are wondering... Oh my god, she's over there. Yeah, we're not going to do Rift if there's so many people collapsing on us. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, I guess it's theirs, because Cassidy doesn't want to do anything. Oh. Wait, it reset. It reset? Can't kill this Syndra. Oh, I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, there we go. He's dead. Very nice. Alright, now we can push this out. Wait, who got rift? Oh, Yorick got rift. Nice. Very good. Ooh. Crazy game, guys. But it's good to finally duo. I don't know if you guys like it if I duo. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it if I duo queue or if I just... Keep it at solo queue. Solo queue just means it's very inconsistent and um, it will go back and forth. Like, I'll lose a bunch and I'll win a bunch because it's just very volatile. Like, people will rage and they'll quit or they'll just not play really well or they'll just AFK or stuff like that. And it's been happening a lot. 
but uh, I guess if I do a Q, it's more consistent. I'll always get a jungler that will do stuff, you know, and shut down the enemy jungler. Okay, Wukong's back. I, I don't have boots, actually. I have to remember I do not have boots, so I need to... I need to be really careful since everyone will outrun me. Like, I won't be able to chase them, and I won't be able to run away from them. I just can only stand and fight. So, that's the thing is with the boots and tower being down, is I have to be really careful. Okay, there's a lot of action happening mid. I actually took way too long to buy items. Hopefully they're okay. I'm going to head towards mid and maybe... Oh, they're, they're probably doing dragon. Also, my build is going to be Shiv into Bork into Essence Reaver. Ah, uh, Yorick is dead. That's bad. But luckily, they're not doing dragon. So we'll push mid out, and then after that, we might go top. We'll see what happens. Might even get a tower, actually. <clears throat> okay, never mind. We can't get it. I'm just going to go top. It was a good attempt anyway. It forced them to come. And there'll be a big juicy wave for me here at top. Oh yeah, oh yeah by the way, for those who are not familiar with the tower dive that, Wu uh, that I did for Wukong early on, I press my C key so that way I can right click and see I can't right click on the tower. But when I don't press my C key, it becomes a weapon. So that's what I, I had to manually bind it. Uh, for those who don't know. I might be able to show you guys the command later, or the interface later that lets you change this. I'm going to the check for red. Ah, uh, it's not there. Hmm. Ah, uh, Rift Herald. <clears throat> we get another tower here. And potentially, I'm gonna go bot after this. Okay, so now that all the towers are gone top, we're going to go bot and try to get this tower. Unfortunately, I don't have the Rift Herald, so I can't use it when I go down there. So now I'm going to roam bot and try to help out. Oh, that's an interesting spot to put it. That's going to one-shot the tower. Oh, no. Almost. Oh, wow. That's that's a Rift. I thought it would at least last over here. Like, maybe if, she, if he put it here. Okay, we can get mid-tower. Uh, that should not be hitting the brand. Cool. This is a high fee flash. Oh my god, I overspan. I have my finger on R in case. If I see a flash or anything, I'm going for it. But since uh, nothing's happening, I'm just going to pop my potion. Hmm. I think I might split bot, actually. I don't know why I'm edging towards top side. Okay. Alright, I guess he wants to 1-3-1 split. Oh, there's a Wukong over there. I still have my ult, and Wukong does not have ult. So I can fight him. I have to watch out though, in case uh, anyone else is nearby. Alright, so I feel like the jungler's over here. Or here. Like, he's camping the bush. So I'm not going to do anything, and Wukong's playing way too... Let's see, I'll check with W. Okay, no one's there, no one's there, very nice. He has to go invis. Okay, he went that way. Um... If anyone's nearby. Okay, he's dead. You should clone yourself. Oh, I'm gonna get rooted. Luckily, it's just an Ivan over there. I think he was over there. He shot it from that side. So, Ivan's pretty harmless. He does no damage. And as Soraka, you know. You know, guys, you guys know what Soraka does. No damage as well. Oh, they're fighting mid. I might be able to get a tower, though. Depends on how hard... Looks like they won anyway. They don't need me. So I don't need to go down there. I can just keep pushing. I can do a lot of damage to the tower. I can't kill it just because Wukong's respawning now. And I think he has ult up again. So we'll see. I might greed for it actually. Let's see. 
Alright, very nice. I got the slow on Ash, and that's all I needed. I just wanted to juke her out. I walked to her, and then she backpedals or something. I was able to get my W off. That's just like a little mind game. Normally, I won't be able to get out if I just walk straight and spin away. Because they'll just keep slowing me, and it'll just last forever. But because I slowed Ash, that's the important thing. I also have my Bork uh, as backup after that. But if I was to just Bork and run, uh, it might not work. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. That's a pretty dead Soraka. If I do say so myself. That's a pretty dead me. If I don't run. That's another Ash ult. Okay, very nice. We baited. We baited him in pretty hard. I'm gonna go back, and then I'll come back here. And we should be able to clean up. I'm going for Mercs because everyone has CC on their team. Literally every single one of them. Like, Wukong has the knockup. Uh, although that probably doesn't... Merc doesn't help with that. Ivan has Root, Syndra has stun, Ash has stun, and... Oh my god, I'm talking so slowly. You guys get the idea. I might be able to get their red, actually. I might go for... I'll take their camps. I'll go for their red. And then after that, I'll push out top. What? Yorick's dead again. Rip. <laughs> We're not gonna die like him. No way. No way. Wait, that's Soraka, though. Oh, never mind. Not going for it anymore. I see a Syndra there. So Ivan's gonna go and check his jungle and be like, Oh, no one's there. He's gonna throw his Q over here, I think. So I'll be able to see that Ivan is nearby. Oh no, he's over there. Okay. I might be able to get a Wukong kill here. Never mind, he's going mid. So I'll push this out and force him back top. I'm always looking out for a team fight though, in case I need to run over there. It's kind of iffy because I have no wards and everyone's missing. Okay, they don't have vision of Baron. So that's why Ash just went for the for the E. We have no dragons at all. Wow. We're really lacking in terms of dragon control then. I'm going to keep mid shoved. All right. So Yorick wants me to go bot. Uh okay, I'll I'll comply. I'm just a bit worried because Baron fight could break out anytime. And it looks like a prime time for them to do Baron. I don't think they know who Jay is. Because if I if they see, see Jay, right? And no one on the team is named Jay. <laughs> only you guys would know, but our teammates would not know at all. Like, only me, Ninetales, and you guys would know. So, value ward, always put one here when you're split pushing. Make sure you don't get... Make sure you don't get killed or flanked. That's the only way you can die is if someone walks in from the side and flanks you. So you gotta be on your... Um, you, you gotta be on top of it. Uh, okay. I have a spin coming up in three, so... And she has nothing now. Oh, wow, I messed that up. I'm just gonna back off. Because I messed up. Oh wow, she actually got me. Damn. Damn. Uh, oops. Oh. Rip. I messed up so bad there. I thought that Bork Slow would actually give me more leeway. Sintra, no ult. I think she flashed away. Okay, well... I guess we got a top top tower, that's decent. But they might get Baron off of this. Alright, I need to be more careful. Every time I die, it's really bad. Like, I can't afford to die. I'm gonna go on pure mode right now. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go kill mode. 
Stop whining. I need to back away. Oh wait, Syndra was oom? Damn. I could have kept going then. Ah. Alright, Rock has slowed. Ah. What? I didn't get that kill. Interesting. Alright, since everyone's dead and Ash is coming up in five. And now we can get uh, mid tower as well. Very nice. Ah, uh, okay, there was no saving him there. He got stunned by Ash Arrow. Okay. Uh, if he Baron Core though, we have to do it really fast. What? I got stunned there? Baron can stun you? I thought he only whips you with a tentacle and makes you... Uh-oh. They have vision. And I'm, I'm tanking. Damn. Oh, God. Kill me! That was iffy. Maybe I should have just went out. I shouldn't have fought them. But at least we got Baron. That's the... Fortunate part. Oh, this playstyle is really different though. I'm so used to having a, a team fight jungler, you know, just like uh, what you see in regular solo queue. I'm not used to a, a different split pusher as a jungler, so it's a little to get used to. To have like a second split pusher, because it feels like having a Yasuo mid on my team, except I actually have a mid laner, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, nice. But except, except I'm not going to say it's a Yasuo mid because Yasuo just feeds, right? He, he actually gets objectives. Uh, Yorick actually gets objectives and counter jungles early and is just infinitely more useful than Yasuo mid. So that always feels good. But yeah, I've never ever won a game with Yasuo mid, ever. In ranked at least, as Trindamir. It's just not possible because every time I play with one, they just feed their ass off. And if they don't feed, they just maybe go even in lane at best. I haven't seen them win yet. Oh, what? No red. Okay, I'll join my team. We can go bot, actually. I literally just wasted so much time walking around the jungle. Rip. So push out the last inhib and just win. Hmm. Oh. Huh. oh. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> I was gonna go bot. Oh well. Yeah, I'll keep bot and I'll keep top and mid pushed in. So I'm going to go and push in mid right now. Wait, Caitlyn's recalling? Okay, there's too many mid right now, so I'm going to go I'm gonna go top. I just know that uh they need to pressure bot so that everyone goes bot, then I can make this work. I can push two lanes at once and make it work. But because there's too many people mid right now, it's not entirely working. Uh, or not if they die. That's That also doesn't work. Hmm. If he kept chasing, I would have balked him. So he would have wasted a cooldown off of me. Wait, are they... Are they fighting? Well, they are fighting. Jesus. I'm gonna go help them. Mm. They're not in that bush. Okay, so they all backed off, but it looked like they were chasing. I have all the lanes pushed in, so that's why I went to help them. There's no point in kind of like diving that Wukong. Okay, I should be able to get out. I don't need to flash. Yeah, I'll be fine. I have so much cooldown reduction, so that's why 
I kind of wish Cassidy just like was selfish and just got away and just you know every man for himself kind of thing because I was completely fine but we should be able to get this last one the last inhib all right so let's get this okay wait how okay Wukong has Randuans hmm I probably need a last whisperer Although I can still shred through him, because that's the only tank item he has. Okay, that's fine. I'll take this. Oh, we need to back away. Crush your enemies! Sit. Wait, what? Wow, that was so boosted on my part. What the heck was that? I, no one saw that. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, just shh, keep quiet. But for those that do not know, it's better not to know, okay? Oh my god, I, I'm like, I played this game so bad, but we still won, thank god. Normally, if I play so bad like this, I would lose, but luckily, you know, <laughs> backdoor OP, or well, not really backdoor, but... Oh my god. What the heck? That quadra kill though. Giving them the false hope. Nice. Let's get Baron in 25 seconds. I'm going to ward over. Oh, I'm going to use the plant. Wait. Okay. Make them go all paranoid. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Ah, I'm so tilted right now. Mm, I thought I pressed alt. Oh, that's so painful. Damn, I, that was such a double kill. That was the freest double kill ever. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so bad of me. Holy. <laughs> oh. I feel like crying after this. I played this game so, so bad. I apologize. I am so sorry, guys. This is what happens when you face Wukong, I think. I think that's what happens. Anyways, GG well played. Thank you so much for watching to the very end, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.